Hi guys, my name is Rhea Rodney and I am a children's author and I'm also your mystery reader for today. I am so excited to be sharing my story with you guys. So before we begin, I must say to remember while I'm reading, you have to be quiet and you have to make sure you have your listening ears turned on. So today's book is the very first book that I published. The name of this book is Juniper and Rose, Sister First and Best Friend Forever. Are you ready? I am, let's dive in. I'm so excited. Sure you guys could tell, right? Here we go. This is the first book, the first page in the book shows Juniper and Rose family. Okay, this is their daddy and this is their mommy. Let's begin. Juniper and Rose are beautiful and playful twins. They do not look alike, but they are twin sisters all the same. Juniper has dark, shiny hair, big brown eyes, and a smile that could light up the sky. She looks just like her mommy. Rose has red curly hair, hazel eyes, and a nose sprinkled with the cutest freckles. Rose definitely looks like her daddy. Let's turn. Juniper and Rose love each other very much. Since the day they were born, they have been together all the time. And they seem to both love the same things. They love riding their bikes at the park on the weekends with their mom and dad. They love swinging on the monkey bars. And they both love going down the slide and circling round and round the merry-go-round. They could do that for hours. The girls have very creative minds. They especially love dressing up as fairy princesses and having fancy tea parties with their imaginary friends. Their favorite colors are pink and green. Juniper always wants to wear the pink princess dress and Rose always wants the green one. They love caring for others too. Because of this, their mom and dad call them the twin doctors. Whenever someone is sick, they are always ready with their first aid kit and are able to find a cure and save the day. I know you guys could relate, right? Because we all love dressing up. Juniper and Rose also get into a lot of trouble together. Juniper is known for being the mastermind behind it all. One day, the girls took colorful markers and drew all over their bedroom walls. Don't do that. When their mom walked into the room, she was shocked beyond belief. <gasps> Your room, she said and folded her hands to show her disapproval. What have you done? With an innocent smile on her lips, Rose said, Look, Mom, we drew a beautiful rainbow just for you. Juniper chimed in and exclaimed, Don't you love the colors, Mommy? They are just like the one in the rainbow song. The thing you're smart, right? <laughs> Their mother unfolded her arms and smiled. You girls will be helping me clean these walls as soon as you're done, understood? They were so full of fun and mischief, it was hard to be angry with them for too long. I guess the mom cut them a break, but they know that they cannot do that again. So don't go drawing on your bedroom walls. Juniper and Rose once hit their dad car keys so he couldn't go to work. They giggled as they watched their dad look everywhere for his keys. Where are my keys? He asked. The girl stopped giggling as soon as he got closer to them. I guess now they're playing a trick on their dad. Have you ever played a trick on your mom or dad before? Juniper? He gave a questioning glare in Juniper's direction. Rose, he asked, looking at her. 
Have either of you seen my keys? The girls shrugged their shoulders, smiled shyly, and, of, and at the very same time they replied, No, Daddy! As soon as their dad walked away, each twin put a hand over their mouth and began giggling again. It wasn't long before they decided to give their dad the car keys and a big hug. It didn't matter what they did, naughty or nice, it was all for one and one for all. Sister first and best friend forever. That was their motto. But as Juniper and Rose grew older, they started to like different things. That was when it all began. Double trouble. Oh no, let's see what's happening next. Juniper's favorite color was now purple. And Rose couldn't understand why she didn't like the colors pink and green anymore. Juniper began pink, painting her nails purple. She also had a purple watch, many purple headband, and she even wore purple lip gloss. Rose still loved the colors pink and green. She kept all the pink and green things that she once shared with Juniper. After all, pink and green had been their favorite colors all their life. Uh-oh. Seems like Rose is looking sad. Let's see what happened next. Now, whenever they played dress up, Juniper wanted to be a mean witch instead of a fairy princess. She would often let her imagination run wild by casting evil spells on their imaginary friends. Sometimes Rose would get upset and call for her mom to make her stop. But Juniper could be very stubborn. She would not change her mind about being a witch. What do you think is happening to the girls? I think as they're getting older, they're starting to like different things and they just don't know how to relate it. So hopefully they figure out a way. Let's see what happens next. As much as, much as it was difficult for Rose to accept the new Juniper, she was going through some changes of her own. She no longer wanted to ride her bike at the park. Instead, she would rather sit beneath a shaded tree and doodle in her notepad with her markers. Are you guys seeing the look on Juniper's face? It looks like she's feeling a bit disappointing right now. So I guess the both of them are having a difficult time. Okay. The twins were no longer a team. All for one and one for all, sisters first and best friend forever, they started to drift apart. They couldn't accept the fact that they were both changing. Their togetherness had started to disappear. Suddenly, the once very happy sisters became very sad little girls. One night during dinner, it was clear to their mom and dad that something wasn't right. Neither girls touched their meals, nor did they speak. What's the matter, their dad asked. Uh-oh, no one's eating dinner. Rose stood up and walked towards her dad. In a sad, soft voice, she replied, Juniper doesn't want to... Juniper doesn't like to the color pink and green anymore, Daddy. Her favorite color is now purple. Whenever we play dress up and have tea parties with our imaginary friends, Juniper wants to be a mean witch instead of a fairy princess. She even casts spells on our guests. Then, with much sadness, Juniper said, Rose doesn't want to ride a bike with me anymore. All she wants to do is sit beneath a shady tree and doodle in her notepad. Ooh, it seems like they have a little bit of drama going on. 
at that moment, their mom and dad finally realized what was happening. Their beautiful twin daughters were changing and they were having trouble adjusting to it. They knew that this was the perfect time to explain to the girls exactly what was happening between them. You know, girls, their dad said, sometimes people change, but that doesn't mean the love they have for each other is gone. But it feels like everything has changed, Juniper cried. How can we love each other when all we do is fight all day long? <laughs> Change changes everything, Rose exclaimed, bursting into tears. Not everything has changed, their dad replied, sitting each girl on his lap and kissing them both on the cheek. Uh-oh, I seem so sad for them. You still love doing the same things, but in different ways. You both love going to the park, dressing up, and playing with your imaginary friends. And you both love to paint your nails, wear lip gloss, and many other things as well. Their mom smiled as she recited their favorite motto back to them. All for one and one for all, sister first and best friend forever. The girls looked at each other and smiled as their mom finished the motto. You're right, they both cheered. Mom and dad, you're the best. You saved the day. Hey, we said that together, Rose giggled. I guess not everything has changed, Juniper laughed. I guess now they're happy again. Let's see what they do to solve their problem. Okay. The girls thought long and hard about what their parents had said to them. Soon they came up with a plan they called team work. Ever since that day, they take turns painting their nails in each other's favorite color. At the park, they take turns riding their bike and doodling in their notepad. Whenever they play dress up, whenever they play dress up with their imaginary friends, they both are witches. Juniper is the mean witch, and Rose is the good witch. At the, as the good witch, Rose casts a magical spell that turns them back to fairy princesses at the end. Juniper and Rose are on their way to being the best team ever. The end. I hope you guys enjoy the story and I promise I will be sending you another story pretty soon. Thank you for listening. Bye.